All right, this is another animal that I would like to show you. Its ID is actually R1, although I forgot to put it on here. Uh, in any case, uh, let's look at when the animal gets put in the water. That's right now, so that's three seconds. So the way I, I was doing this is, of course, I have everything set up with the camera on top of the apparatus and all this stuff. So what I would do is just hold the animal here on my, my arm, then with this hand, push the camera, turn around uh, the camera and put the animal in the water. So that's why I can do it within about three seconds for most animals. But anyway, let's move to uh, the beginning and I'll narrate it again and tell you what, when the animal is swimming and when the animal is floating. Floating right away. Isn't that amazing? All right, so you can see it's moving, but it's only to maintain its balance. So that's why I call this all floating. So this animal starts floating from the very beginning, which is very interesting. Okay, so it's moving a bit here, but it's it's... It looks more like it's maintaining, trying to maintain its balance. So I still call this floating. Okay, now, now it's moving and moving both and starting to swim and explore a bit. So that's swimming. That's floating. Swimming. Floating. Swimming. And so we're here we have reached the uh, 103 mark, so I'll stop here. Um, but um, as you can see, um, there's already, from these two animals that you've so far looked at, uh, quite a diversity in their initial response to water. And I said before, these animals have never uh, seen water before. So uh, in any case, that's just one example, and I'll give you uh, uh, another 60-second uh, one um, as well.